One other thing before you go, you, you were very, very dour, so I thought I'd try to put you in a good mood to the extent this is possible with this group. And um, I wanted to share with you some news. Um, there's been a new element discovered. You know, these atom smashers, they're always working. And so um, the discovery of the heaviest element known to science has been reported. The element tentatively named administratium. You know, the, I don't know if UPAC is going to go for this, but you can suggest names. So they're going to name it administratium, the, the discoverers. Um, it has no protons or electrons, so that means its atomic number is zero. It does have one neutron, 125 assistants to the neutron, <laughs> 75 neutrons, vice neutrons, and 111 assistants to the vice neutrons. This gives it a mass number of 312. <laughs> the 312 particles are held together in the nucleus by a force that involves the continuous exchange of meson-like particles called memoons. <laughs> There, there's no electronic mail because there's no electrons, right? There may be neutronic mail, but we don't know yet. Now, you've already learned something today. You know something. Since it has no electrons, what do we know about its chemical reacti reactivity? It's inert. It has no electrons. It can't exchange. So this is chemically inert. So you say, how did they detect it? Ah, because it seems to impede every reaction in which it is present. <laughs> According, according to the discoverers, a few nanograms rendered a reaction that normally takes a fraction of a, section, uh, of, a, of, a, of a second. It took now four business days to conduct that same. <laughs> the, there are a few other properties. Uh, we know so far that it's radioactive, and we're going to study radioactivity later, so there's a little bit of foreshadowing. It has a half-life of about three years, at which time it stops decaying, and instead, it undergoes a reorganization, <laughs> which the vice neutrons, assistance to the neutron, and assistance to the vice neutrons exchange places. Now, some studies indicate that the mass actually increases after each reorganization. So you can imagine now we'll have something like this. Uh huh. See? See how this increased, right? Yeah. Okay. So if they op occupy the same place, they have the same proton number, but a different neutron number. In the case of administratium, they're called isodobes. Okay. Okay. So with that, I will say have a good weekend.